So I've always been fascinated about how, like, how we can make the city memorable by creating very distinct and personable experiences. So we took a house uh, and we jumped in the moment between its life and death and see how we can uh, place ourselves and our imagination into it. This is Five Nights with Sudan and uh, at Bayview and Eglinton. And um, we realized that there's like the house is the most familiar space to all of us, but there's a lot of things about a house that we is never expressed or is never seen due to the constraints of our routine life. So we asked ourselves, uh, what are the uh, things that you always wanted to do to a house? Like basically, like on freeing your imagination about it. So we brought 10 creative minds and to explore the possibilities in a very tight schedule and deliver six projects to an opening that we had on a Friday night to the public. We had no commitment about what is going to be except for that it's going to be delivered and everybody has to be engaged and absolutely participating in it. The first group I'm going to represent to you are collabs, the four individuals who took the task of revealing a very a curious moment of a vertical relationship in a house that we never see due to some necessities like floors and ceilings. They exist, this void always exists in the house, but we never see. So what did they do is like they started uh, a very uh, reductive uh, process of creating and destroying and going through the living room, that's the living room that was in the other picture, and going to the upper floor to the bedroom of upstairs and the basement and connecting this huge void in the house. It's in the front of the house. So by simultaneously cons uh, destroying and creating, they, um, they created this inferno like a space with the help of the, some lighting and that somehow like, gives you both the sense of weightlessness but almost a very intense gravity at the bottom of the house, something that you never will be able to uh, experience in the house as it is. The Room of Whispers, um, I worked with a group of, in a group of three to, um, this is an existing dining room that we raised the floor to match the window height and we closed all the openings to the room and painted everything white and so we created this sound box and the only way to get to the room was to follow your curiosity in the backyard up the ladder and crawl into the space. And um, as soon as you walked in, you could hear, you could feel the difference, the sound uh, quality uh, was being different. And uh, we, so we put up five different microphones in the whole house, and we brought uh, the sounds into the room through the speakers that you could hear from the ceiling because we played with the proportions. As soon as you walk in, some people couldn't put their head up. Um, so that was, um, you see, like these people are listening to the. Um, sounds uh, of the house, which we called it the Room of Whispers. Uh, April Wong, uh, she took the basement and she worked with um, three uh, elements, sound, um, water, and lighting, to create this magical uh, and meditative um, installation. She, um, there, there was, a, the, her room was flooded uh, at about five inches, and there was a platform that you could walk on on it and right into the room. And as soon as you walked in, you could hear the water dripping and uh, watching yourself, uh, watching your reflection in um, a series of multiple uh, glass panels that uh, create this virtual space uh, of um, an uncertain depth. As you, and the lighting, of course, played a main role, and some people just accidentally walked into the water and they enjoyed themselves just as just being in the room. Uh, Memory Field uh, was uh, a work, a piece by Jamie Yusas. He took the extension of the house, uh, which was attached to the kitchen, and uh, played with, he manipulated uh, space uh, and time uh, through uh, installing three. Um, cameras into the ceiling and painted everything black. So the cameras were on delay. So as soon as you walked in, you could watch yourself in that TV, watching yourself, watching yourself, watching yourself. So it was on the loop. So it was kind of creating this um, uh, uh, unusual experience. And it was very engaging. Uh, the resident of the 593 Sudan, Mark Zupan, he uh, made this puppet 
and he, this was an old grumpy man. I was drunk and going around the house and complaining about everything. He was not happy that we just tra transformed this house. And uh, the closet, the closet. April Wong. She took the closet. She brought the drawers out and created um, the steps through the closet and used that that as a transitional space between the hallway and uh, the next installation, which is um, a bedroom. Um, so through the stairs that you just saw, you go back of the room, like there are two bedrooms that are identical. There's nothing particular, like particularly significant about them. Um, so what Su Tang, one of the other artists, she's here too, like she like closed the room, like closed the rooms and created this other like unworldly connection between these two rooms through that hole through the ball and the roofs and created these two slides that they collide at the middle, that was the separation point of the two rooms and now it became the actually the connection room, like it's a point of unexpected connection between these two things and people were jumping on it. It can take like almost about like eight, nine people on it at the same time, like absolutely irresistible for playing. Um, so through like these six installations, uh, we created uh, like an environment that was highly and unexpectedly uh, engaging and a lot of people came to us and they like um, they, they 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 were like out of this world they they thought that they were in the Alice in the Wonderland world and I think we like unexpectedly achieved something that we actually didn't know what it is like it was like creating a painting and like all of a sudden seeing this effect and the energy that was uh, created by the participation of the people uh, was uh, was intense and the after Sudan we saw all this, these people like creating things influenced by the project and which encourages us to nest this project in other places in the in the city. Thank you.